Hello, hello, my name is Chris and I'm here to answer one serious question. Is Mother of Myth worth your money? Short answer, yes it is. Mother of Myth is a freemium game, we can call it uh, like that. But don't be afraid, don't be afraid, it isn't that bad with the payments. Actually, they're quite reasonable and uh, they aren't that intrusive, you know, uh, forcing you to pay constantly to play and over and over and over and over. There's some kind of uh, key system to do dungeons, uh, you have to buy keys and uh, all that stuff, but you can buy them with diamonds. <sighs> What's with the diamonds everywhere? Diamonds here, diamonds there, still gems, let's call them gems. You can buy them with gems and uh, they're not a problem. At least uh, not uh, that I had to pay for anything and that's a good sign. Mother of Myth is an action RPG, if you didn't somehow notice that. Some may say it's similar to Diablo, but it really isn't. It's as similar to Diablo as one book is similar to another, you know. It's made from paper, uh, it has covers and letters in it. And here, when it comes to action RPGs, they have monsters, and monsters are... Uh, their purpose is to be killed, so yes, that's the similarity to Diablo. Other than that, it's a different time, type of action RPG. As you can see on screen, we have a, a card system, some kind of card system, that uh, decides our skills, and we have different rarity of those cards. We can uh, get them quite often uh, in a form of uh, uh, reward from the end of the dungeon, so no worries, you can always, always get them. But why can't I really call it a Diablo? type game is that the monsters don't drop loot. On the stages you can find normal gold, uh, some crafting items, but not loot itself. All loot gained in this game is crafted. For some it may be good, for others it may be bad. For the company it's obviously win, because let's be frank, there's always uh, a mean in a freemium game to get things very 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 fast. So if you want to spend some dollar and buy some crafting materials, uh, gems and other stuff, you can quite significantly speed up your crafting process and uh, that means you will get quite good gear fast, really fast, if you're willing. But there's uh, also another side of the coin, you don't need to spend a dime and just play normally the game and you will get the crafting components, you will craft better items uh, and you will progress uh, the game in a normal action RPG fashion. What's meat and potato in games like that is combat and in Mother of Myth combat delivers. It's enjoyable, it's nothing extraordinary but you, but you don't use uh, the mini stick, thumbstick or whatever, the circle to move your uh, character, you just point in the direction or hold and press uh, your finger against the touch screen and you're going that way. And you just tap on en enemies to start auto attacking. This builds up your mana, in which return you can draw your skills on the touch screen to activate them. It's actually very simple, you have the symbols on the right, it's a circle, a check mark, a line and a thunder. <laughs> it's very easy to learn and in midst of combat it doesn't really make problem to form uh, one of those shapes, maybe besides the circle, because I noticed that sometimes or actually quite many times, circle isn't really, you know, completed and you don't do the actual attack. In my case, it, it's good that on circle I have a quite weak attack, so <laughs> I don't really need to use it. Maybe it's my inability, to, you know, to draw circles on the touch screen, draw perfect circles on the touch screen, or oh, maybe like that. Besides the good combat, Mother of Myth has actually a very strong narrative and the aspect of story is... Uh, well, it surprised me. This game is somewhat story-driven. Uh, 
I don't spoil the won't spoil the plot, but maybe it isn't anything extraordinary, but still, in action RPG plots are usually eh, there's an evil, evil here, evil there, go kill those monsters, yeah, save the world, and that's it. And here we have some schemes between I won't say between who, but we have something more complex. So in terms of the story in Mother of Metu it was a nice surprise, because I wasn't expecting any meaningful story, and here I was wrong. To wrap it all up, Mother of Myth is definitely worth your time and money if you're willing to spend some, and it's a quite solid action RPG that you can have some fun with. Mother of Chicken gets a rating of juicy, tender chicken breasts. That would be all, thank you for today and see you next time!